Hey everyone, Travis Dio here with Sea West Observatories. We're here now in Tucson, Arizona on Mount Lemmon, 9,171 feet in elevation. We're here to be fixing and repairing a 24 and a half foot ash manufacturing dome for the University of Minnesota. First things first is we're waiting for the boom lift to get here so we can actually get on top of the dome and do all of our maintenance necessary. I think it's gonna be a great video and let's get going. One of the important aspects of dome maintenance is keeping all the bearings and gears greased so that they can move smoothly and be mostly maintenance free. You can see Alfredo here behind me greasing up those so that it runs nice and smooth. back of the upper shutter off. We're now pulling off the old sealant and putting on some new ones so that it's tight and sealed from the back, whether it's open or closed. Sea West Observatories prides itself on being experts in dome maintenance, and this one definitely needs it. For a new build, you generally have big pieces of neoprene, just like this, all the way around the azimuth. However, if it's been several decades and your dome also needs maintenance, your azimuth ceiling may look like this. And that definitely is not being watertight. So part of this build is chucking out the old, putting in the new. With the old azimuth neoprene removed, we're now putting in the new seal all the way around. So Bill here is taking care of that and nailing in so we have a nice weather seal all the way around the azimuth. Here on the exterior of the dome, we're now caulking the various holes and seals, so it's all nice and watertight. Yeah. So we have the azimuth seal all the way around, all around the 24 foot dome. We have also greased the gears and the bearings so everything should move nice and smooth and the azimuth is now watertight. On to the next task.
So Alfredo has finished up the lower shutter, so it should be all nice and sealed. We want to now open the upper shutter so we can check just that seal in between the two shutters and make sure that they're actually closing nice and tight. So day one of University of Minnesota dome repair and maintenance complete. We've done a lot of work today, really long day, but looking forward to tomorrow. Good morning, day two of the job. We're currently pulling off the side seals for the dome so that we can now get those replaced. We got Alfredo and David working on those. And then he's way up there. We also have some turkeys joining us today on site. So. is going smoothly up here on Mount Lemon. We have Abraham up on the boom lift getting the last little bits of the old ceiling off so we can finish up those side seals. Make sure it's all nice and good. All right, just came back from lunch. We're now working on the back seam of the upper shutter. We were able to finish the two side seams all the way up, so those are nice and weather sealed. And now this is the, the largest seal right on the back, and uh, they're working on that right now. Got the 
hose hooked up to the boom lift. We're going to shoot it right over and make it rain. test was a successful test. We did find one more spot. It's actually between two of the upper shutter sections. These really large ash domes actually have a upper shutter that is made out of some two, sometimes three sections. And because of some damage sometime in the last 50 years of this dome's operation, there's a little bit more of a gap there than otherwise expected. So they're up there right now on the boom lift and getting that nice and sealed up again, and we'll have another leak test. So we were able to finish caulking the spaces between the leaves of the upper shutter. From the inside with all the lights off, looks like that they're a lot better sealed, but we have to wait for it to dry. So leak test is gonna have to be bright and early tomorrow morning. And that's where we'll catch you next. Early morning, day three of the job. I'm driving up Mount Lemmon here in Tucson, Arizona. It's about a 7,000 foot elevation change, but the drive is absolutely beautiful. We have completely finished up the dome. It is now nice and sealed, no water leaking in whatsoever. We came up right here to the summit of Mount Lemmon with all the other domes around. Just getting the crew to see a last few moments on this beautiful mountain before we head down and a job well complete. Till next time.